One of the advantages with Edge Animate when you create something as complex as drop menus is the ability to save those as a template and then reuse those at another time. What we have set up here in our creating templates document, we have our drop menu symbol. If I double click and go into the timeline, we have two different drop menus set up. All of the drop menus as well as rollovers are working. The only thing I would need to do is go in and change the different names instead of saying button one or menu one or menu two, change them to their appropriate names, as well as go in and figure out, do I want the navigation to happen internally or do I want the navigation to go outside to a different URL? So I'm going to simply double click on our stage to go back. We have this set up and I've placed some type here and just simply called it my foodie website. Now to push this a little bit further, I'm going to reach over and grab one of my images. I have either a lemonade image or a salad image. I'm going to go ahead and drag the lemonade image and just place this right on the stage. And right now, of course, that's covering up everything. So I'll go to my elements and I'm going to pull this to the bottom. And if you notice, what we've done with the buttons is they're a little bit transparent. So if I test this out, All of our menus are set. So what I want to do next is I simply want to save this out as a template. So what I'll do is go to file, save as template. And I will call this lemonade foodie. And if you look at the extension, it's ANTMPL for animate template. So I'll simply click save. And I'll get an alert that will ask me, do I want to import the template that I just created? So for right now, I'm going to do the default and simply click yes. So that is simply how to create a template. Some of the best practices are line up everything you'd like to have exactly the way you want it. For instance, bringing in images. If you have a very complex element, for instance, our drop menu, one of the things you should consider is converting it to a symbol so you do not have a lot of layers on your main timeline. So this is what we've done here. So our drop menu is simply one layer on our main timeline. So once you've created a template, the only thing you need to do is simply import this or open this later and you can build from that.